Dr. Carrie Melke, Chief of Staff at Shriners Hospital for Children, Twin Cities. Cerebral palsy is a condition that, uh, that we see in infants or young children where they've had either a congenital or another type of injury that leads to damage to the brain, which leads to some characteristic findings. Uh, sometimes it can be in children even before they're born with congenital anomalies of the brain. Sometimes there can be issues with uh, blood supply or delivery of oxygen to babies as they're born or in the newborn period. Or there can even be injuries up to two years of age that lead to brain injury. And what happens when you have a significant brain injury in a infant or growing child is uh, they have difficulties controlling their arms and legs, they have difficult difficulties maintaining posture, they have developmental delays where they sit later or walk later or not at all depending on the extent of the brain injury. They also have something called increased tone or tone problems in their arms or and or legs. And it's a condition that we frequently see here at Shriners Hospital for Children. Well, the initial treatment uh, is to get a diagnosis. You know, sometimes it takes a while to figure out that your child has cerebral palsy. Uh, one of the key things is not hitting normal milestones, not sitting at six months, not walking at a year. Um, so making a diagnosis. The initial treatment is focuses almost exclusively on physical therapy, occupational therapy, and bracing. Uh, and that's probably the first four or five years of life typically uh, are very involved in OTPT and bracing. And we have a great brace shop here and have all kinds of different options for bracing and other equipment. Sometimes these children need walkers or need wheelchairs, both of which we get involved with the supplying to our patients. Uh, tone reduction is uh, something that's of often offered in childhood, especially in the younger children but even up to adolescence. Uh, the main way we treat tone is with injectable therapy with either botulinum toxin injections into spastic muscle or phenol injections into nerves that control spastic muscle. Uh, another a way to more permanently reduce tone uh, is with selective dorsal rhizotomy where you uh, uh, is a neurosurgical procedure where you are able to decrease tone. Uh, and we've been doing rhizotomies at Shriners Hospital for Children for 25, 30 years. So we have quite an extensive experience in treating spasticity with selective dorsal rhizotomy. Another option is uh, interthecal baclofen pump. That's for children that are, are more involved uh, and are not candidates for a rhizotomy. And those children we assess for uh, the need for that as well.